Now we've come to, in my opinion, the first big fuck up of the series because Halloween one through four, I enjoy them. But then you get to Halloween five. Which they rushed the sequel because Halloween 4 was a big hit. So the next year this comes out. I remember I had my old account and I did a big old Tourette's filled rant on this film. I don't think I'm going to be able to capture that tenacity, that venom. But. I'm done when I'm going to try. Because this movie this fucking sucks. It is a piece of shit after seeing this fucking movie again. I don't give a fuck about this scratch. I don't give a shit. It's a piece of fucking shit. Halloween 5 is one of the worst Halloween films. I will even say it is worse than this film. Because this film, I'll get to, the first 15 minutes of this film is pure dog shit upon dog shit. The rest of the film, I can have kind of a time waster for. I'll get to why. Treat or treat, motherfucker. I like that line. Go fucking figure and shit. But this, there's nothing good about this movie. Nothing. Nothing good. Dominique Othan and Gerard, same guy who would go on to direct Omen 4. So Dominique Othan and Jerkoff decided to do this film. And this is a fucking abysmal. Okay, first off, the beginning of the film. They pussy out on the ending of Halloween 4. Cool ending at Halloween 4. But they pussy out, so instead, now Daniel Harris' character is a fucking mute. She has a psychic link with Michael Myers. Uh, Ellie Cornell, a likable character, she just killed in the first 15, 20 minutes. Just Dominique Othin and Jerkoff says, we, What we want to do is we want to see the audience that anyone can die, even Rachel. Yeah, and kill off your likable character, your one likable character. Because Daniel Harris is mute. Donald Pleasance, his character Loomis is awful in this film. Awful. Because he's very mean to the girl. Why, why are you crying? Come on, tell me. You know. Just a fuck. They took his obsessive compulsion to over the top status that you made you not like Loomis. Which was a huge mistake. Stupid. Uh, God, what the fuck? They kill the fucking Rachel Ellie Cornell off in a stupid fashion. They should not kill her off at all. You have horrible f cast. Uh, Jamie's friend is a stuttering kid. I understand there are people who stutter. There's nothing wrong with that. I understand there are kids who stutter. There's nothing wrong with that. What is wrong is you don't put it in a fucking Halloween movie. You don't. I mean, if it annoys me, it annoys me. And the stuttering kid annoyed me. I'm sorry, it did. You have a mute kid who, to the third act, then all of a sudden it's not mute. And then a stuttering kid. And then you have Tina, played by Wendy Kaplan, who I think was going off with Great Nick Otero. Did he set Great Nick Otero's job? You know, dick for the job? Because I know Nick Otero would help did effects. I'm sure, I think Dominic and Jerkoff treat him like shit. What do you know? You're just a makeup man. Fuck you, Dominic and Jerkoff. You don't know how to direct a film. The film doesn't even seem like it takes place in fucking October. There's nothing Halloween-like about it. The The night sequences have no atmosphere to them. They're bleh. The, the kill sequences, there's nothing to them at all either. Um, a guy gets a, like, a claw, like, kind of like a rake, kind of like what you, I don't know what you call it, you did dirt with, but it's like, it's like this, into, into a guy's face, uh, Rachel gets, like, scissors into her chest, uh, I can't remember, uh, 
the stupid Tina, horrible actress Wendy Kaplan, horrible character, where the first time you see her, she sees mute ass Daniel Harris and she goes ba 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 da 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 it's horrible, horrible cast of characters. No one likable in this film. I love how they go, Michael lives, and this time they're ready. For what? They're ready for what? They're not ready. You may just seem like they're ready. They're gonna, you know, it's gonna be like an action film where, you know, they got guns and shit. No, it's not at all. <laughs> Stupid. And... That's basically what it is. Is Ellie Cornell gets killed. She, Daniel is still mute. Loomis is being an asshole, trying to get her to talk to him. Um, the lame brain, one dimensional cast of no one likable. Even in part four, like that Sasha Jensen guy and Kathleen Kimmel, at least they were likable actors. They were decent actors. Here, there's not a decent actor in the bunch. They have these two bumbling cops. Which some say there were clown noises, like clown sound effects. I didn't notice it, but I wasn't paying attention because I wanted my brain not to fry. Uh, but so apparently it was their homage to Last House on the Left. Yeah, homage something that no one liked in Last House on the Left. No one liked that part with the bumbling cops. No one liked it. They said it was awful. Dominic Ethan and Jerk Off. Did you not understand that? You don't. You don't know how the fucking Halloween movie works. Watch an interview with this guy. He seems like a fucking clueless dumb shit. Um, I think even Donald Pleasant didn't like the direction he was going. They pushed it out on the, the ending of Halloween 4, so it's a stupid story instead. You got horrible looking mask. Like, that mask looks fucking horrible. It looks like I sat on it for a fucking week or something. Horrible looking mask, just really lazy looking fucking mask. Uh, the store did nothing for me. Who did the store? Alan Howard did the store, but I don't think he, even he could save anything from this film. You have appearances from the fucking Man in Black. No, not Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones. It's just a Man in Black who you, does nothing. And apparently, the people who made this film. They didn't know what the man in black meant. They just put it in for shits and giggles. They didn't even really know what the fuck it was meant to be. Was it supposed to be Michael Myers' twin brother? Was it supposed to be... I'm like, geez, are you trying to be a fucking soap opera? This is long lost twin brother that no one knew. I mean, what the fuck? And it's boring as well. No, nothing interesting in the film. No laughs. No, no chills. No suspense. Um, I know my friend Effie talks about the one scene where the guy fucks with his pants on. I'm like, why? Um, then you get like get into the third act where Loomis again is an asshole. He knows Michael Myers is out there. He has everybody leave the house he's in with Daniel Harris and another cop. And then he has the cop put the gun to him and says, you're not going anywhere. You stay here with the girl. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, Loomis? And then like you have Daniel Harris uh, running away from my finding the dead bodies, finding that Ellie Cornell's dead. Then she kind of has a chat with Michael. And you see Michael Myers fucking cry. Cry. I shit you not. Fucking cry. People think being beat up by Buster Rhymes is bad. He cries in this motherfucker. He cries. He fucking cries. <laughs> Michael Myers is crying in your movie, Dominate Othan and Jerk Off. The only semi decent scene is there's a sort of laundry shoot, and Daniel Harris is trying to escape. But the bomb is locked and she's trying to escape and Michael Myers is stabbing through it. That's like the only halfway decent scene. And then you have an atrocious, pathetic, 
but hurting ending where Loomis his plan he um, he lets loose a metal net a metal fucking net boom and he shoots tranquilizers tranquilizers into Michael Myers fucking tranquilizers takes a fucking piece of wood and just hits him again and again in Halloween 2, he, he shot in the eyes. Halloween 4, he got shot 50 times with shotguns. You really think tranquilizers and smack him in the head is going to do the job? And then, I didn't even notice this, but watching it again, apparently, if you watch closely, his character dies in this film. Yes. Because this is meant to be his last one. His character dies. Which is weird because it's in Halloween 6. But because I wasn't the only one who didn't notice. Because you see, like, he's getting a heart attack and he falls on Michael Myers, who's now, I guess, the tranquilizers worked. Bullets don't work, but not. I guess, well, they did the same thing with Freddy vs. Jason, I guess. So. But then, it is kind of funny how tranquilizers work, but bullets don't. <laughs> hey, what do I know? But you see Donald Pleasant Kidder fall. He's like kind of breathing and then like that. I'm like, oh my god, Loomis is dead. I didn't even notice that. From a heart attack or whatever. And then the funny ass scene where you have Michael Myers in a jail cell. A fucking jail cell. As if Michael Myers couldn't just break down the fucking doors. He did all this other shit. And then you have the man in black entering the police station, fucking up the police station. Daniel Harris is now alone by herself and sees that Michael Myers is gone. And she goes, no. And then end credits. Domini Othanen jerk off. Did you just try to sabotage the Halloween franchise? Is that what your plan was? Dipshit. I don't believe it. I just, it's fucking unbelievable. Unfucking believable. I'm looking up something. Yeah. Not only did he direct it, but he was one of the writers of this fucking movie, too. You have other writers. You have Michael Jacobs, who wrote. What the hell? He was a producer for a lot of TV work. Including a producer of the TV show Dinosaurs and Boy Meets World. Okay. And Shim Bitterman. Which, he didn't go on to do much. He... Produced, directed, and wrote something called The Job. And he wrote something with Chris Klein and Fred Durst called Play Dead. Whatever. Never even heard of the fucking movie. But Don't Need the Earth and Jerk Off was one of the writers of this film and directed it. So yeah, he takes a lot of blame for this film. It's piss poor, it's boring, and everything like I said, they just, everything went wrong. Not a single fucking thing works. Michael Myers doesn't look good, folks. His mask doesn't look good. The characters, every single one sucks. Ellie Cornell, she just killed too fucking early. Donald Pleasance becomes an incredibly unlikable. Daniel Harris is a fucking mute for most of the film. What else? Tina, one of the worst fucking characters in Sasha film history. Michael Myers crying. Two bumbling cops that are, oh, this supposed to be goofy and funny. It's not. No likable characters. Not much for kills, like... 
whoop de doo tills that I don't give a fuck about. A piss poor ending. Pushing out in the beginning for not doing going with the ending of Halloween 4. Just everything about the men in black that went nowhere. Just everything about this fucking movie is stupid. It's silly. It's boring. And it's pure shit. It's dog shit. Fucking dog shit. Pure fucking shit. So I'll end it here because I don't need to go on. This movie fucking sucks. It fucking blows. It's an asshole munching motherfucking piece of dog shit. It's one of the worst fucking sequels to a mainstream series that I've ever fucking seen. Don't the other jerk off. Yes, I didn't see Omen 4, but I can guarantee that probably fucking sucks. Fuck you, Dominic Uthan Jerkoff. It's a piece of shit movie. Halloween 5. Plain and simple. So thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another piece of shit. The Curse of Michael Myers. Later.